So we don't have much left in this run. We just have to do the two sewer bosses, I believe, and then we got right card still, and then the final three. So we're going to go off to Esker right now. We'll try and get through, I think, everything up to Radagon, and then we'll go do right card, because that fight's going to be pretty lengthy, I think. So purple here. I don't think we did this right. We just I think we just went into the sewers. I don't think we actually did anything in the sewers. I'll know in two seconds when this door isn't open. Or if it is open, then we just wasted the last 30 seconds or whatever. Okay, no, we're good. Yeah, I'm expecting Rikard to be like a half hour fight or something like that. Something ridiculous. It's gonna suck. The place where you're staying isn't that expensive, but the flight is how how much is the flight? Well, I guess it depends on when you want to book it too. Like how far out in advance, time of year. I'm not really that familiar with the uh, like costs of flights because I don't ever fly anywhere. But you know, in two to three weeks. Oh, that's probably why then. <laughs> that's very very soon. No, why, man? Why is this guy awful? You come over here. Climb. Just, just ignore the flame that's happening. Just climb up. Every time you book half a year in advance, it easily can be up to five hundred dollars for the cheapest ticket. That's crazy. That's wild. I'm gonna rest here. Actually, I don't need to rest here. There's a grace in the dungeon. Yeah, I went to Europe. I think it was in 2018. I don't remember how much the tickets cost though. My friend ended up paying for everything initially. Like we paid him back, but. I don't remember what I ended up paying him. We went to like three different countries in 10 days. It's in 10 or flight or some. I don't know what that means. What what does that mean <laughs> in in English, please? It's an hour, 10 hour flight. Oh, OK. That makes sense. Is it just one way or you have a layover? Too early. <laughs> Fair enough. One way, damn. Yeah, we flew into Italy and uh, we left. Oh God, I'll never forget, man. I worked the day that we left. So as soon as I left work, I went to go to a, um, a place I could just keep my car parked for, you know, the entire time we were gone and took a bus to the airport. And then once we got there, you know, we were we took a five hour flight to England and then a five hour layover. And then a three hour flight to Italy. It was it was a brutal day. And with the time change too, it, it was just it felt so weird because like, you know, it'd be like three o'clock in Italy. And it was like 10 o'clock back home or something like that. And we were just up like for the majority of the time. Slept a little on the plane, but it was a rough first day. And then I remember we left Italy at three in the morning. <laughs> that was fun. Or we didn't we didn't fly out at three, but we had to leave for the airport at three. And our place was an hour away from the airport. You hear about the Dragon's Dogma 2 microtransactions? Oh god. No. What are the microtransactions? Let me throw on Beast Repellent Torch. It's not pay to win, pay to skip grind? Why? Why do they do this? Capcom, what are you doing? Those people bought those microtransactions for RE4 Remake. Is there even anything to grind in RE4 Remake? Doesn't seem to me like it's a grindy game. I'm dead. Yeah, should have backed off. So what exactly, what exactly, it skips the progression for upgrading your guns to max level in that game. I don't know. Do they make it like horribly grindy? Three dollars to edit your character, my god. In in uh Dragon's Dogma? Or an RE4 remake.
All right, another boss down. Let's see, take that off, put this back, not that off. Was that what I had on? Oh, I guess it is what I had on. Okay. I don't think I'm parrying much more in this playthrough anyway. I'll put Radagon, I guess, but that's it. Yeah, I can't believe they found a way to put microtransactions in Dragon's Dogma. But I mean, if they put them in Resident Evil, like, <laughs> I guess it's not that surprising. Ugh. Plague on the industry. Find the, uh, the most minute thing to make people pay for. And the people will do it too, right? I think going forward, this is just standard practice for AAA games. Yeah, unfortunately. Sega locked New Game Plus in Like a Dragon 8. Yeah, I heard about that. Just crazy to me. It's probably one of those things where they'll change it later, too. Oh, there's a cat outside. Just climbing on a rock. As long as they don't, like, make it necessary, you know? Like, a pay-to-grind thing, it's, like, morally kind of sucks, but it's not something I would really, uh, want to purchase. But if they make the grind so unbearable that you almost have to buy it, then that's a problem. Like, games are selling more than ever, and people are still like, we need more money. Microtransactions. Like, you would think companies are making more than ever just because of digital sales. You don't have to actually make a copy of a game anymore. And again, people are buying them up more than ever, but... I don't know. Damn it, stop hitting me. Hey, yes, Tom. How are you doing today? Recovered from Dark Moonbow? Yeah, I got a couple days off from it. And on Monday, we'll be back to the pain. Hey, Orient. How you doing? Oops, that was a little early. Well, other than the microtransactions, how have the reviews for Dragon's Song have been? I haven't seen too much. I just know, like, everyone on my following list is playing it. And recommended. 
Eights and nines. Oh, that's pretty good. You know what game also came out yesterday that everyone kind of forgot about? Rise of the Ronin. I checked the directory and, like, uh... <laughs> there's really no one in there. I was surprised, because, like, that game looked pretty cool. It's a sequel to the first game, but better with bad performance. Dragon's Dogma. Yes, it had locked at, like, 30 FPS on consoles. I don't know how it is on PC. Oh, Ronin is bad performance. I thought we were talking about Dragon's Dogma still. What's next? Giddy on. DD2 had bad performance? Oh, okay. Bummer. I feel like when a game has microtransactions and bad performance, it's a slap in the face. <laughs> That's why no, no one's playing it? I gotcha, okay. Well, I mean, Final Fantasy was also... I, you can't really compare those two, though. That's not fair to compare them. I didn't actually realize it was a PS5 exclusive until yesterday. Because I looked for it on Steam and I'm like, oh, it's not here. I'm sure it'll come to PC before Bloodborne anyway. Demon's Souls remake should have been PS4 and PS5. Yeah, well, I mean, they, the, you know, it came out for the release of the PS5. I can understand why they just did it for PS5 only. DD2 is uncapped on consoles. Oh, really? 60 FPS with no action and 30 with action. I don't know what's in this physics, so I'm going to drink it. Wait, I didn't do right card before Gideon, which means he's not going to have um, that one thing that I can't think of right now. Can I just heal? I'm dead. Gideon, just chill out, man. Yeah, he still has rings. Great. It's like the one thing I don't want him to have. I cannot believe that actually has that insane range. Stutter and Denuvo? Hmm. Always Denuvo. I can't move. I, I just, I got stun locked on the flame. I've never seen that before. Worst part is he still has the ring attack. He's missing like the one good attack that you can punish, Common Azure. He won't do it. Nice. What just happened? Oh, the stupid ring around him exploded. That's what it was. Hey, wait, Sink. Not much, man. How are you doing today? All right, you're having lunch now. So three more bosses. EA and 2K themselves say that in their shareholders reports, the majority of their money comes from microtransactions alone. 
EA with its FIFA microtransactions and 2K with their basketball create a player and Rockstar shark cards. Wouldn't be surprised that Epic is the same with Fortnite's microtransactions, since according to themselves, the Epic store isn't making that much money. Yeah, I mean, Fortnite's just so big that it, it wouldn't surprise me that, uh... What are we doing here? I guess we'll just do decks. I don't know. It wouldn't be surprise me that the the Fortnite microtransactions make more than the store does. Steam just kind of has a, a hold on that market. Epic is great for like one free game a week. Actually, they probably are more, but you know, they usually do like they're. Oh, I don't know. I assume they still do it the weekly free game or whatever. Which I always forget to keep tabs on. Apparently the executives they pay haven't made a return on investment. Wow. Even with Fortnite, huh? Even with the Fortnite money. The Epic Store exclusives. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think most people, honestly, maybe not most people, but there are definitely people who don't have a problem waiting for a game to come to see him. You know, you wait like six to 12 months. Not a big deal for some. Especially when there were just so many games out there. No phase two, huh? Well, I mean, no phase two of phase one. Oops. Chill. Not me drinking my physic late again. That, that missed him. How did that miss? Oh, nice. Oops. As a store jump. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often. No, that's the wrong thing. Chill, man. I forgot to roll. I'm an idiot. Roll or jump. All right, it's time. Been putting it off for the entire run, pretty much. It's finally time, though. Let me level up. What I even level here? Yeah, why not? Where are we going? Temple of Igley. Oh, wait, hang on. I think there's one thing I need to get. I don't know if I got it on this run. The... what's it called? Bull goats. Talisman. Let me take a look. Did I get it? I don't think I did. All right, well, let's get to... we'll get to right card and then we'll go grab it and then we'll come back. There's still probably like 40 more minutes left of this run, unless I die to right card, in which case it's longer. Ouch. This lava is weak. Yeah, 
<laughs> it is weak, but if it were stronger, it would be a lot more annoying to, to go through, probably. It also slows you down immensely, normally. Not a new game plus, but a new game. This is gonna suck, man. Ugh. So we'll go... I'm gonna actually look at the round table. I'm gonna maybe buy the veteran set. Veteran set with bull goats. The wing sword insignia. Green turtle talisman. Icon shield wouldn't be a bad idea either, honestly. If I can actually use it. I think microtransaction is just the way things will be going forward. It'll be rare for a AAA to not have them. Yeah. I agree. As long as the impact is like minimal, you know? And it's not like pay to win. If it's cosmetic stuff, then whatever. Like, you know, it is what it is. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, this way. Enya. Enya's corpse. Let's see. So I think this has the highest poise. Should be the veteran set. That does. 21, 24, 24, 38. Just checking everything. But it looks like it's easily going to be the veteran's set that wins out. Okay. Okay, so this is fine. This comes off. This comes off. Godskin Swaddling Cloth. And then we'll go grab the Talisman real quick and Dragon Barrow Cave. Icon Shield I'll throw on. Hopefully I'm not heavy with this thing. Okay, good. Hello, bear. Not this way. I need to get this thing on every run going forward because the poise is just so nice to have for this fight. Uh, where are we on? Volcano Manor. Please stop roaring. Little goats. So we have 107 poise. Damn. And physic. I mean, the physic, honestly, I don't think is really going to impact anything. But maybe I should just go health regen. Keep stamina regen. Like, it's going to be a half hour fight, you know? It's it's nice to have some health regen and it'll help me a little bit, but... Uh, how much is it really going to help in this long of a fight, you know? When do I use it? I think I use it in phase one, honestly. I'll save it for phase two, though. I think I'll save it for phase two. Oh, great. Can't even reach. Yeah, this is not good. Not that surprising, though. If I'm being honest. And obviously, phase two of this fight is so much worse. Well, maybe not obviously. But it is worse, let me tell you. It's so much easier to hit... The snake here that it is to hit Rykard. You can put Rykard to sleep, but I'm attacking him so much that I don't think he actually will fall asleep. Still think I can out heal that. As long as I can keep hitting him. Oh, I just heard the sleep sound. I think it's hilarious that you can put him to sleep. Okay, now I might have to heal. I'm gonna try to not, though. I just want the Swaddling Cloth to heal me. But I don't know if I can swing this fast enough to actually have it do it. Okay, I'm gonna heal. I just, my timing's off on that. I don't really know when to roll, I just kind of go off of instinct. Because I can't really get a a good signal to roll. What are you doing? Ugh. Yeah, that's bad. I just, I can't, I cannot get this timing down. I mean, if I die here, this kind of like throws my whole plan, or like a wrench in my plan, as far as uh, what we're doing today. Because if we have to spend more than an hour on this, like I didn't, I didn't plan for that. Dude. Come on. What is this? I need to really not get hit by this. That's fine. If I, that, like, that much damage isn't a big deal. It's the... It's when it does, like, three times that that it's a problem. I wonder if it's faster to do this. No, it seems about the same, honestly. I think do this. I'm gonna drink this. 
get more health regen. Because I think I'll get hit less in phase two, honestly. You're the only one getting Batman vibes from God Devouring Serpent's music? Uh, I don't know Batman's music to... I don't know well enough to, to say. Well, I guess I say no, but not because it doesn't remind me of Batman's music. It's because I don't know Batman's music. This is actually kind of nice when he does this, because the lava won't hit you, but you also can't hit him, which really sucks. I have to wait for the, like his body to come a little closer to me. It's just so annoying. <laughs> I hate this fight. And remember, this is the easy phase. <laughs> it gets worse in phase two. No, I got staggered right before I needed to roll out. That's the worst. Getting there. Damn it, little early. Yeah, sleep is pretty useless in this fight, honestly, for, for what I'm doing. Because I don't even know when he's going to go to sleep. I just have to keep mashing R1. Please just go to phase two. Thank you. Ugh. Yeah, now the real fun begins. At least phase two of this phase should be fine. Once the snake's out again. Phase one, this first part's gonna suck. It is gonna be awful. It's gonna be so hard to hit. I think I need to maybe go to his foot or something. Somewhere is where it's gonna be easier to hit him. Perfect, but he's gonna jump, so it doesn't matter. I think he did Rancor. Yep, there's Rancor. Ooh. I don't watch out for that. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Ugh, this fight, man. That sword always gets so much more range than I think it's going to. It's so hard to... Like, keep healing consistently in this fight. When you have just one weapon. Like, two fast weapons is ideal, because the Swaddling Cloth will just, like, constantly be proccing. Already, man? Okay, now we gotta go. I might have to do a lot of running around in this fight. This fight's gonna take longer than half an hour, I think. I think we've already been in it for almost ten minutes. Again, then once we get to... Phase two of this phase, like, the second half of this phase, it, it'll speed up a little bit. But the only health regen I have right now is the shield. So there might be times where I'm just running around for like a minute trying to get back to full health, kind of like the hand blister run. I'm dealing 100 damage a hit. It's literally going to be like a thousand hits to kill him. Almost a thousand. When it's all said and done. And if I can't land hits on him consistently, I can't heal with the swaddling cloth. You can when he's doing Rancor, which is nice. Then you also have to watch out for the Rancor, because that's it just follows you, basically. And it can hit you from underground. It's like one of the dumbest attacks in this game, I think. Like, it, it can hit you without you even seeing it, really. Which is why it's so frustrating. Another Rancor. I think you can get counter hits on him there, though, which is cool. I gotta heal. Yeah, I've already used so much healing. Four heals. Oh, I've only used two in this phase. Glad I have the icon shield. A little bit here. Come on, just let me... So that's what? Maybe like an eighth of his health? Did he? Oh, there. Okay. Thought I heard him swing it already, but I guess not. Just gotta run to his leg. Rancor... Every time I do a thousand damage, just think that's like one one hundredth. Actually, it's, it's not for, for Rikard, it's like one seventieth. Be one one hundredth of the whole fight. But I can really only hit for like. 500 damage at most, probably. In one combo. And then he's gonna like either run away or something. Uh oh. What are you doing, Rikard? The heck was that? It's gonna be very important, I think, to hit him while he's doing this. Oh, nice. Does this, does this mean no skulls? Uh, I'm gonna run, because I don't know. Oh, skulls are still coming. Just slowly. 
You got some time, I think, before the skulls start coming down. 233. Insane damage. I should, you know what I should have done? Especially on like the hand blister run, I should have timed how long Rancor is out for. I never did that. Never thought to do it. it Would have been good to know. It's at least 30 seconds, so I just started timing it. I think it might be 30 seconds even. Quarter of the way through, maybe? A little, little under? Somewhere between 20 and 25% of the way through, probably. That's probably closer to a quarter. It's tough to tell, though. Rancor, I can't, I can't. Okay, that was close. I feel like we've been on 10 flasks for a bit. Nice, that's good timing. So I don't think the skull spawned there. And I get a little more healing back from the... Oh, come on. That's bad. I gotta heal here. Run! Sword comes down... Nice. That's good timing. Okay, so we're probably a third of the way through now. And I'd say it's the hardest third, so... Okay, now we run. Or we just get erupted on. The sword just has insane range. Should I heal? I feel like I should heal. I'm not going to, though. Not yet, anyway. Okay, maybe I should. Rancor. It's annoying, though, when he when he does a Rancor and you're trapped in his leg like this, you can get stuck and then you'll get hit. Didn't happen there, luckily. Nice. Uh oh. Unfortunate. More important, I think, to, in this fight to not be getting hit than to try and do damage. Because you already know you're going to be here for a long time. Okay, now we run. I think after the next cycle, we'll be able to get the snake out and it should go a little faster. Oh, come on. That's bad. Just run away from him. We're in good shape, though, I think. I got over half my flask left still. As soon as that snake comes out. No, dude, what even hit me there? Can't tell when we're halfway, though. That's the thing. Rancor, good DPS. Okay, we're definitely past halfway. The snake should be out. Which is very good. Can't tell if it is, though. I mean, you'll know when it starts trying to bite you. He do. Seven flasks left. That won't hit me, right? Close. Snake. There we go. Good. Because now this part becomes so much easier to hit. And I think he does less uh, of, like, the skull cycle. Or the skull move, whatever. He'll just attack with the snake more and I can get more healing. Which is good. It's almost like fighting phase one, but he doesn't back up forever. So it should be faster. Don't put me into a wall, please. What's even happening right now? I mean, he hasn't done a Rancor for a bit either, as far as I know. Damn it. I think I can heal this back, though. Probably should just use a flask, to be honest. Got plenty of them right now. I think we're looking good. It's not over, obviously, but there's still a lot more to go. 140 per hit with the Wing Sword Insignia. Okay, he's doing his thing. I gotta start running. Ceaseless looks a bit different in this game. This is like if the Man Serpents grew to be like a hundred times their size. 
and their face fused like on their neck or something instead of on their head. Have you got to this fight, S. Tom, in the game yet? If not, this is not the norm. It is not this bad. <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to do this fight. <laughs> Haven't played Elden Ring in a while. Once we get to the letters, then we can actually see some measured progress. And trying SL1 DS3, how's that going? Give Snake, please. Right card, stop. Stop these shenanigans. Second Abyss Watchers. Ah, stop. Okay, let's not get stuck in the wall. Let's go this way. Get to second phase when you make one mistake. Yeah, I know that feeling. And they can stun lock you too pretty easily. Get in there. Thank God we just have one boss after this. Okay, it's time to run. Oh, it's not time to run. Saved. No skulls, right? Oh, what the hell, man? Okay, now it's time to run. Almost there. I think we've been in this fight for half an hour now. More or less. I won't really know until I look at the, the bot again, but something like that. This is probably like the third longest right card fight I've had. Nothing's going to beat the hand, Melissa. Probably. Char Cannon should be faster than the hand, Melissa. Better be. I don't actually know what to do in that fight with it. And it does more damage than the hand ballista. Like the, the two hour hand ballista right card fight was basically me testing things, but it ended up actually working. And I think I used every single ballista bolt I had. I was ready to kick him though. You better believe I was ready to kick him. And then we have another torch request after this, so not the next one won't be a torch run, but the one after, whatever is after not Elden Ring, uh, will be a torch run. Just the base torch. So that that would be great. The torch might be better than this, though. Honestly, the nice thing about this torch is you have the sleep, but I feel like the damage is probably worse than a normal torch. We're so close. Okay, good. He's not doing the skull phase, so that's not as good. So, okay. A couple more hits. One, two, three, four. Voila. Get me out of here. Where are we going? We're going Elton Throne. First try? First try, yeah. It's just that, you know, like a 30 plus minute fight. <laughs> no big deal. So let's throw on basically everything I had on before. This, this, uh, Warrior Gauntlets, and Warrior Greaves. Okay. And then we can keep this on. I'm going to take this off. Do the Axe Talisman. And probably Ritual Sword Talisman. Honestly, the Icon Shield wouldn't be bad to have here, but I don't think I need it. Wow, I'm level 196? My god. How'd that happen? HP regen, that's fine. I'll probably just use that for Elden Beast. So, yeah, once we finish the other Torch run, that's going to be coming up. Then we'll have three torches out of the six done. That was too early. Is it three parries on Radagon? Yeah, it's three. Couldn't remember.
Physic. Two hand. Tanky boy, this Elden Beast is. I still think running around in a circle to dodge that is like the goofiest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, just run around in this. Anytime you have to run in a circle to dodge anything, it's just silly. You trying to ring? Yeah. You know, you're ringing. Way off, damn. This theme is so good, man. Like everything about the final boss theme. Radagon's theme, Elden Beast's theme. There's a wall right here, isn't there? Yep. Still against the wall. Elden Beast, you want to move away? Was a little late on that. Do some char char twos. Maybe we can get a stagger. Ah, oh, man, that's a bummer. I was hoping it was going to be after Elden Stars, or during Elden Stars, rather. Luck. Wall right here, good to know. Run the other way. Maybe I can outrun it, I'm pretty far away from it. What does it last, like 20 seconds? 15, 20 seconds? going to be here. For as much of a meme as this torch has been, or like any torch run, well, I guess this one specifically because we're doing it, it's been very, very good at staggering everything. I mean, two staggers in this fight? And a torch? I mean, I think the only reason I could get two in this fight is because the damage is not good, but still. 
I hate this attack so much. I'm so bad at dodging it. There we go. St. Trina's Torch is done for now. Until the DLC.